Welcome to How To Pam. Uh, this is our third short tutorial on LibriCAD. We've looked at installing LibriCAD. We've looked at familiarizing ourselves with the interface. And now we're going to look at setting up our first drawing. So let's go ahead and open up our application of LibriCAD. And you should have something similar to this when you open it up. You should have your layers list, you should have your block list, you should have your layer, uh, your library. Okay, and you should have a spot here to, uh, to draw, and you should have your tools, and you should have all your function buttons up here. Should be snaps down here. Okay. If something is missing, you can turn it on through the widgets. Okay. You can actually, through these widget buttons, you can turn on the functions that you will be using. Now you'll notice that these line tools here are all the same as what's on over here okay and down here we have the same buttons that are below the tool section here okay so let us go ahead and uh, set up for a first drawing one thing uh, you may not be totally familiar with the command line area but if you go online to uh, LibriCAD Waikiki uh, org and the commands and all your key commands are listed right here and you could actually print that off for yourself so that you have familiarity with the commands here is what it does and here is the keys that you would press to get this to work here's the tool here's the action and here is the key command okay that's for the snap area this is the modify section okay TM is trim or you could type trim you can type just the abbreviated here or the whole word again uh, T2 or TM2 if we go up to the drawing section here's draw a point uh, action the tool is points and you can PO or you can type point here's a line is L or LI or line okay so get yourself familiar with the commands for the keyboard and you'll find that it's quite efficient okay so let's start first by um, looking at these buttons here uh, we already opened by default a new drawing okay so we have a new drawing here the only thing we have to do is name it but before we name it we would want to save it and before we save it we want to set up our attributes so this first line under options here if you don't have the options buttons you have an older version you have edit and you'll find these same buttons here underneath the edit now in options we have the application preferences we could certainly go ahead and set up all the preferences for the way the interface works and looks but for the beginner you may want to just keep it at the default settings now because it's set up by default for practical use um, here is the languages okay and I'm using English language so if you have to change your language you can certainly do that however you probably uh, did that on the installation anyways this is the interface um, the appearance and the functions of the total application and for the most part it's okay the way it is so we'll just leave that there okay now 
what we're interested in is here are the widget options these are your widgets over here and there's options for them okay and they can you can change the size of the widget options and and the icon uh, package that they're they're buttoned with okay and we have device options okay and we have a mouse here and you might be running a, a special uh, syllabus or something like that okay so I'm just using a mouse here right now but if you had uh, a stylist or something you you could you could handle that through the device options here and this is the reload of the style sheet once you've changed your options what we're interested in here is the current drawing preferences okay so here current drawing you probably opened up by default a4 okay and we're going to do that and when you change these drawings paper size the dimensions appear up down here okay so at an a4 we're looking at in millimeters 297 or 29.7 centimeters and 21 centimeters or 210 millimeters that's our paper is in the width and the length or the height okay the width would be the length here and the height would be that and we're in the landscape view and we're going to use an A4 paper here in the landscape view now over here for drawing units we uh, have none which you could choose if you desired uh, not to put any units in just say that one unit equals one unit or you could use inch foot mile millimeter okay and uh, we're satisfied with millimeters here uh, this is the format the decimal length now everything would be um, we're going to use decimal in our format you could use engineering architecture architectural scientific or fractional we're going to go with decimal and there's the precision okay now we don't need that much precision on what we're doing here so to save ourselves some space instead of having all those zeros printed out on the dimensions we'll just change that to the second decimal place and here is also the decimal of the angles is in decimal degrees right rather than in different gradients or radians or surveyor units we're gonna keep with decimal degrees now the grid we have show grid that is the little white dots in here we could turn that off but for now having the grid helps us and there is the orthogonal that is a straight-on view of the grid isometric would be at 30 degrees that would change things we're not going to use isometric unless we were trying to show a three-dimensional view here we're going to use orthogonic and the X spacing and Y spacing is fine at auto now the general scale is one equals one okay and if you mouse over these things they have a little tooltip okay scale to multiply all dimension geometries by one okay the length factor again some of these attributes may be a little bit uh, too large or something for your drawing you'll know after you've used them and if you want to change uh, those attributes you could come back in and change them here for the particular drawing or you could change them right at the entry itself by modifying the attributes through the menu okay so we're gonna take all the default options here now for spline lines the default is 8 and that's over here in your spline lines and it says 8 segments per spline patch and that's okay for now unless we really got into doing a lot of spine work spline work okay so let's just leave the A4 paper landscape and remember here now we have 
297 mils and 210 mils. Okay, so that's pretty much set up our drawing for this particular drawing we have. And now let's go ahead and save that drawing. So let's go with the save as and we will just call this our drawing. And it's saved. Okay. Now you'll notice this is layer zero. And I like to use layer zero to put a border around the drawing. So that's simple enough to do. If we want to put a border around the drawing, we can certainly take and highlight layer zero and edit the attributes. Okay, the name is always layer zero and we could change the color from black to white. We could change the line weight to a heavier line weight. Here is a uh, the default line weight. Okay. And we could have continuous or dash dark. Or here's a large border line. Okay. If we chose to do that, say okay. And we have that set up to where we could put a border around our paper. Um, to put a border around, we can easily just select a rectangle. Okay, and as soon as we select the tool, it tells us down here in the command line to specify the first corner of the rectangle. Well, I like to start a drawing from the zero mark. Now, if we're going to put a border, we need the border inset from the edge of the paper. Five millimeters inset would be sufficient. So five mils in here and five mils on this side means that we're going to have to be 10 millimeters smaller than our paper. And our paper was 297 mils. So we're going to start by typing in zero comma zero for the first coordinate of the first corner. Okay. And the second corner, which is going to be up here, will be not 297, but it'll be 287 because we're allowing five mils on each side. As well in the height, we'll want to put five mils at the bottom and five mils at the top and we had a height of 210 millimeters so we need to put only 200 so here we have 287 mils that's 10 less than the 297 comma 200 mils for the height and let's press enter and now you'll notice we have our we have our paper in there and we can press the escape key or the right mouse key to deactivate the rectangle tool okay now, there is our drawing, and if we chose view to get it all in here and went to auto zoom, and that sets us right in there for our border. Okay, so we've set up our first drawing, and we've used layer zero for a border, and we've, we've set the standard zero zero datum mark here 
for our drawing of our border but in our particular drawing case most times we'll want to use that and measure all the drawing out from this zero point okay so now our drawing would require a few more layers of course if we're going to add some other things to it but for this um, particular short tutorial we will leave it there at setting up our first drawing and in our next tutorial we'll talk about setting up our first drawing and making some actual drawing okay so let's go ahead and just save that paper and if you're not satisfied we'll look at that if we're not satisfied with the border line as long as we're on this layer we could go ahead and modify let's have a look at modify let's uh, modify the attributes or the properties okay let's take the properties of the line it tells us here that we should click on that and here we go we've got what we have there and we had a line in here which was border let's change that line to a continuous line okay there we go we've changed the attributes of that line to continuous now you can see I have a large cursor telling me I'm still activated on the modification tools until I right click or press the escape key on my keyboard and deactivate the tool okay so we've gone to the properties selected the property tool selected the line and then it was on layer zero and we had color if we choose we could okay we can change the properties of the line that way okay right mouse click to get rid of the activation of the tool and you can see the mouse cursor has gone back to a pointer okay so there we go um, we can uh, we can conclude this drawing And we will start the next drawing with showing how to set up a title block on a paper and we don't want to save that and we will get rid of that and thank you for watching this short tutorial on how to set up your first drawing by how to Pam. Thanks for watching.